Hello, I'm Zhaoling Kai. Uh, I'm a marine biologist, a macro photographer, and the winner of the Ocean Photographer of the Year in 2023. I grew up in Chongqing, China, which is a very inland city, and I had a zero connection with the ocean until I went to college. In one class, we talked about a very particular ecological phenomenon called dio vertical migration. Trillions and trillions of plankton, they migrate thousands of meters from the deep sea to the surface every single night. So that simple statement hit me like a lightning strike. So I interrupted the professor and I asked him, are you saying that I can just throw myself into the open ocean and just wait there at night and the deep sea will come to me? And the professor said, theoretically, yes. And that moment is when I decided I want to get into photography. I wanted to become a blackwater photographer. Blackwater dive is like the window that allowed me to cheat on this vision. So I can take glimpses into the larval stages and like the plankton animals, even if I cannot go to the deep sea to actually visit them. So it's a philosophical connection with the deep sea. We divers are suspended at the surface layer, surrounded by pure darkness, and it feels like you are floating around in the universe. So in the photo, the winner for Ocean Photographer of Year 2023, it is the special lineage of octopus. The females of this particular species have developed shells. All the other octopus, they have lost their shells, which allow them to hide in very small crevices and they have developed chromatophores that can change the colors and texture of their skin. But this genus, called Argonaut, they have developed their shells and they live in the open ocean. So they're just floating around and they predate on other smaller plankton. So evolutionarily, I love them because they're a special lineage of octopus. I think a week after the volcano eruption in Philippines at the beginning of 2020. Sediments were stirred up into the water column, so the visibility was extremely low. It was actually not an ideal condition for photography, but I went out anyway. I felt like swimming through a fog, and suddenly this tiny octopus, which was about like the size of a coin, was calmly riding on a floating twig. That scene was contrast from a typical aftermath scene from a volcano eruption. It's so serene, it was like a taken from a fairy tale. Blackwater photographers, we don't like blurry background. We want the nice, natural blackwater setting. But somehow I didn't set up like the, the flashlight right. So the light was actually hitting like the, the water column, the particles in front of the, my subject. So I didn't get a clear black background, but somehow I liked that scene, so I kept that. <laughs> I'm super excited because this is my first time living on board and also my first time joining a deep sea research expedition. I'm already achieving something, I feel, <laughs> to be a member of this expedition. I would say to be not a tourist, observing the science team doing science, I'm also invited to be part of the science. That is what I hope to achieve, just to be part of the mission. I'm most excited about seeing all those deep sea creatures in real time from the monitoring screen of the ROV. I really want to capture the nice details of the deep sea animals. We're not in a position to convince everyone, okay, you should learn about marine science. It's a luxurious thing to do. But I feel like the aesthetics, our sense of aesthetics are common in our genes. You will feel the beauty, you're feeling the power of biology in there. So. My ultimate goal is just to capture the essence and the beauty of the deep sea animals and 
when the public see those works, they will be curious and they will be willing to dive into the topic themselves. I feel extremely honored and um, also with a little bit a healthy dose of anxiety there because um, now I'm the ambassador of the Ocean Photographer of the Year and also for Ocean Census. I don't know what's that gonna mean if I don't set the bar high for the upcoming winners of the Ocean Photographer of the Year.